Okay, I'm kind of hoping this is in focus. Hi guys, it's Beth. Today I'm going to be doing five tips on how to survive your first day of a new school. I personally wish I could have seen a video about this because I had changed schools so many times growing up in my school career. Um, and I just finished high school and I hope that this video helps anybody else out there or any kid out there who is going to a new school um, and they're kind of scared and intimidated and don't really know what to expect. Um, so let's just get right into it. Normally going to a new school, it's kind of scary because you don't have friends in the school, you've never been to it, you don't know the people there, um, and it kind of makes you very shy and kind of left out because you didn't grow up with these kids, um, it's a new school, it's a new area, whatever it is, and my tip is make friends. Don't be scared, don't be shy, just go out there, it can be your first class, your homeroom, find someone, make friends with them. You'd be so surprised on how one friend can bring you this whole group of friends. Um, a lot of times that one person can be very connected and have friends all over the school campus and a lot of times that would help, that will help with um, you feeling shy or intimidated or left out. Towards the end of my school career, not that I, you know, I'm not doing school anymore, but of my high school, I switched to a new school in a new state and I kind of just didn't even make friends. It was my jun the end of my junior year, starting my senior year, and I just really didn't want to make friends and then not see him again. Like it was just, I was so tired of switching schools, but I advise you not to do that. I wish I would have made more friends my junior year and senior year. Um, because because I probably would have had a great senior year experience um, but I just that's my advice to you go out make friends don't be scared don't be intimidated just step out of your comfort zone I know it's gonna be hard but that's just my advice is just to step out and make that one friend it will make a difference don't be intimidated by this new school a lot of times a new school means a whole group of people that you've never seen. You don't know the, how the inside of the school is. You don't know how the school runs. Don't be intimidated. Just go do you, be you, don't be shy, don't act like someone else because pretty soon that will like fade off. Just go in, confidence. Yeah, it's gonna be scary. It's a big school or a small school depending on the school you're going to, but it will just walking in confident will help you tremendously. Your nerves and your anxiety. Um, I know when I went to a new school, every time I went to a new school, I was so intimidated just by, I didn't know what the school allowed. You don't, you always know that there's rules that the school has, but a lot of schools are lenient on some rules and you know, you don't know that. You don't know what rules they're lenient on. So I would just go in confident, you know, do you think of the past schools you were at, how you were, just don't be shy, intimidated, um, finding your classes, don't be afraid to ask somebody, you know, hey, where does this class, or ask a teacher, or ask a, someone that's in the hallways that's a staff in the school, a custodian, a lot of times, just go ask, don't be afraid to raise your hand in class. It's your first day, it's a new school, as I said. I know that I was always intimidated or scared to raise my hand in class because I'm the new kid. People know I'm the new kid in the block or in the school. And raising your hand brings all the attention on you in the classroom. And if you, make a, if you say one wrong thing or say something that you truly thought is what the teacher said but you needed some clarification on, um, you're scared that kids are going to be really mean. Don't worry about that. Raise your hand. Ask those questions. Because a lot of times I missed out on things because I was too scared to raise my hand. Um, and I didn't want the, all the attention on me because I was new and I knew everyone knew I was new. I wish I would have raised my hand more when I first started a new school. Just go ahead, raise your hand. Don't be scared. Ask the teacher the question you needed to ask. 
it will help you in the long run trust me understanding what the teacher's talking about is a big part in class your grades are so important especially if you're in high school it's um, extremely important for colleges and stuff like that and what you want to do so don't be scared to ask questions um, don't just to understand more what you want or what you're learning with the teacher I know I said a lot not to be shy to be you that's my fourth one don't be scared to be you don't be scared to be who you how you normally are like if someone thinks you're weird that's them you're an amazing person for who you are you're an amazing person in general you know everyone's unique something that someone thinks is weird the other person can totally relate to and know why you're doing certain things or why you act this way don't be scared to be you and don't be intimidated to follow the popular crowd or the crowd stand out that's gonna a lot of times being a leader and not a follower is a huge thing um, don't follow a crowd that's doing something that can be dangerous or being a way that could be mean like a bully um, a lot of popular kids ones that you know think they're all that end up being bullies and um, looking down on other people and just don't follow that crowd I know you want to be the one that everyone knows the one that everyone wants to hang out with um, but don't be you that's all I have to say is be you be who you are how your personality is don't be timid intimidated or don't be scared or feel like you need to be something else that you are not um, a lot of times you're not gonna be happy you're gonna feel like you're being fake um you're gonna feel like just that you're that it's not you you're just gonna be very very you're gonna feel very very sad um in my middle school i did one time going to a new middle school i tried to make myself something that i wasn't and it didn't turn out very well for me i didn't like who i had become so just be you if you're funny you like to make jokes do it make jokes be funny if you like to put makeup on you know more than an average person does go ahead put makeup on don't care what others are gonna say or what others are gonna think you're gonna find someone who likes what you like you're gonna find someone who's as similar to you as they are or that understands you be you and don't be scared and my last one this one really isn't just for new school for if you've been in a new school it is it can be for everything starting a new grade starting high school starting middle school uh, starting anything it could be anything um, school related don't slack off that's my big tip to you I have a really big procrastination issue um, in school I would put off put off on a project or an assignment or say oh I can do this later it's so easy or oh this is too hard I can do it later I procrastinated in every way possible and that hurt me in the end I was trying to catch up all school year long I was you know running behind trying to catch up on assignment the lesson we're learning on like don't do not do that it's just gonna be a burden in the end it's gonna make your school year is so much more tough than it should be just go do your assignment once you get handed it do it it's not the way to go it's just it will bring so much more trouble and effort than you really needed to put into it just do it it's just gonna be so much easier take your grades seriously take school seriously in the end I know you're there for seven seven and a half six whatever hours you're there for and a lot of times it can seem like it's a drag because you're there early in the morning and you leave you know mid afternoon but just go go in do your work do the assignment focus pay attention it will just help out tremendously in the end thanks guys for watching please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button um i will be uploading again sometime next week i think um should be uploading sometime next week comment in the comment box below um, what you would like to see next um, if you would like to see anything if not then I'll think of something but thank you and have a good day Mwah. Mm, mm. Mwah. oh and quick thing um, I have a second channel that I share with my sister on 
Um, it's called Royal Twins. Please head over there. It should be on my main channel on the side box that says other channels or related channels or whatever. It says Royal Twins. It has me and my sister in the picture. Please go to that channel. Um, we should have uploaded a, a video called The Whisper Challenge. And just if you want to have a laugh or anything, just go ahead, go look at it. It was so fun to make. Um, thanks. I just want to listen to some music. I'm hoping I'm in focus so This is so hard, but I keep on hearing it like click. I'm itchy. Don't procrastinate. Don't put it off. Just do every assignment that they're telling you. I forgot what I was talking about because I rambled. <laughs>